Inheritance is an object-oriented programming concept and is widely used to share commonly used members of a class with another class or multiple classes. A class can inherit only from one class, while a class can be inherited by unlimited classes. The objects of the derived class get the copy of the data members and member functions of the base class by using inheritance. A class in c -sharp that inherits from another class is called a derived or child class, while the class from which attributes are derived is called a base or parent class. Each instance of a derived class includes its own attribute and all the attributes of the base class. Therefore, the derived class has a large set of attributes. Inheritance avoids redundancy of code and enables easy maintenance. Any change made in the base class automatically reflects on the derived classes. The following syntax is used to create a derived class. Notice that a colon is used to denote the inheritance. The syntax for writing the base and derived class is the same as any class. To implement inheritance, you need to check the kind of relationship between the base class and the derived class. Ensure that the derived class is a kind of base class. Consider an example of an employee, a manager, and an engineer classes. Here the manager and engineer class come under the employee class. The properties of the employee class are required in the manager and the engineer classes. So in the inheritance tree, the employee is the base class whose attributes are shared by manager and employee classes. Thus, manager and employee are the derived classes. To understand the implementation of a class, let's use constructors. A constructor is a special type of method that is invoked automatically when an instance of a class is created. The constructor must have the same name as the class. Let's look into the example program. Here the employee class is the base class. The manager and the engineer classes are the derived classes of the base class. Let us instantiate the manager class. This not only instantiates the members in the manager class, but also the members in the employee class. Let's compile the code and run the program. Notice that the first line is from the employee class, and the second line is from the manager class. When the derived class manager gets instantiated, the constructor of the base class is called followed by the derived class constructor. The constructors can be used to initialize the member variables, if present in the class.